Hi, hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to create a response template. First of all, I would like to define what is a response template. It's very simple. Um, let me give you an example. Let's say you have you are using an application similar to Incident applica application. It can be any sort of application that you have. It has the same uh, like construction here, like the same like different fields. I have your work notes. You have, you have your activities. And as well, you are using an Outlook application where you are sending your emails, your answers to your users um, and you are using a template for example and let's say you have more than 25 templates that you use depending on the request that you receive and that is your scope That's, this, these are like my assumptions like you have a lot of different templates that you have and all these templates that you have in your sticky notes or your own notes or in your work documents and this, this is a situation, for example. What if you have all these templates available in your application itself directly? That is actually possible. You can have all the templates in your application and you can use it from, the, from here. You don't need to actually go to go into your Word document, copying, copy paste all your templates or from your own note or from your sticky notes and to put it in your work notes. If it is mandatory that you have to use a template as a first response or as a second response or as a third response, whatever the situation, you can use all, you can take all these templates from the application itself. Let me show you an example that I have here already. So on the top right corner, you have update, resolve, delete, and as well responses. This one by default, you don't have it. This one you have to create. So I created, I created it. So I click on that and it's giving me this, I don't know, this kind of window where I can choose it, select the template that I want. So I created two templates. One is welcome email template. The other one technical support email template that I just, the, the paragraph that I just grabbed from the internet. So you can see here a, but a good amount of uh, paragraph. On the top here, I have the person name, the caller name, Margaret Gray here and also the assign to the person who is going to work on the incident I keep stuck so I have all this name already in the template itself it's not because I have created the template in this way the text does not contain this information for example the the color name and the assigned to name it's dynamically uh, giving that information here I can open another incident for example I'm gonna take for example this one uh, this one for example but I have Fred Liddy as a caller and assigned to is Bert so if I go click on the responses and choose the support email I can see here I have Fred Liddy and then I have as a person who is working on the incident Bert Richman is is dynamically created uh, this information is dynamically available here and you have your template that actually a text that you you write you, you have the template okay so you can just copy to your clipboard and paste it and post it so it's going to be very fast using your template in this way then taking your templates from your sticky notes or from any other sources imagine that you have more than 50 templates that you have to use depending on the request that you receive what if you have all the templates here that you can use um, just by viewing the title so that's what we are going to do right now the first thing what i'm going to do is delete this button and show you how to create the response template let's do that so i'm going to the system definition so you have to type system definition and response you will have response template configuration i have it already in my preference so I'm going to just click on that. So here I have the two templates that I have already created. So I'm going to just delete that one. And I'm going to show you how to create one. And even before that, so I've deleted my templates. If I go back here and pick a random record, this one, for example, and you can see here, I don't have that this the button responses. It's not anymore here that's because I have deleted all the templates 
the first thing what you have to do before even creating the template, you have to activate the response template plugin. So you have to go to system definition plugins and look for that one. So if you don't know what is the name, all you need to do is go to your ServiceNow product documentation and you have the response template um, article here, activate response templates. And you have the name, templated snippets. That's the name that we have to use in order to research for our plugin. So all you need to do is to put this name here and you're gonna have it here, this one, templated snippets. You have to make sure that is installed. If it's not installed, just click on install and you will have this kind of dialog box and then you have to click on activate. That's all you need to do if do not if you don't have this one. Just make sure that you have installed this templated snippets plugin. Once you have done that, you are ready to go to create your templates. So I'm getting back to my system definition response template configuration and here I click on new and I'm gonna just create my template. So what is my title? I'm gonna just take this one, welcome email template, put it here, and my table is going to be incident table. I'm gonna just put all the text that I have here. Right, so I have my template and the, the other thing which is creating dynamically the name that we have to add here, right here. So we have to just go here, select variables and look for color. And it will give you this syntax. And the first part you do not actually need so color and so on. So that one you have to delete it. And then you have you are going to do the same thing. So instead of color, you're gonna look for assign to. So it should be in the top, so it's here. I'm gonna click here, and the first part I don't actually need everything uh, that we have. So we need to have everything after dollar sign. Great, this is our first template. I'm gonna just submit it. It's created. We cannot do this. We are going to do the same thing to create our second template. Okay, so let's go here. I'm gonna close this one and open this one. It's going to be technical support, email template, and it's going to be incident table. And I'm gonna grab the, I'm gonna take this text. Put it here, same action, just delete this part and look for color, which is here. And I don't need everything. So all this information I don't need. I'm gonna put this comma just up right here. I'm gonna delete your name and I'm going to select assign to this one. And I don't need this part. Perfect. So I have created my second template. Let's now see if our template is available for our incident application for all our records. So I'm gonna pick random records. Let's say I'm gonna pick this one, Rick Berzel, Deepa Shah. So I'm gonna just click on this one. And I would like to use the template that I have created. Let's say the welcome email. All I need to do is to click on responses, welcome email. I have it here, as you can see here, the name is dynamically uh, written here, Rick Berzo. And if I scroll down, I have the name of the person who's working on it, Deepa. So I'm gonna just copy it, sorry, by doing this and paste it, post it. Great, that's how we can use a response template. This is going to be hard very useful if you have a lot of templates. Let's say you have 50 templates that you have to use and you can have it right here. We have it right here. You can do all your selection and you can just select the template you want and use it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it and until next time, bye.